just had to play that again, right? And don't forget Gore saying lockbox seven times as he talked about Social Security and the lockbox and Medicare and the lockbox. You know, many feel that that debate was the real turning point for Bush. Join me right now with his thoughts on what needs to happen tonight if Trump's going to actually win this thing. Ed Rollins. The Thank you. I just love that moment where he crosses oh, over was, and Bush and, looks and, at and him Bush like. Bush kind of looked at him like. <laughs> acknowledgement. Yes, yes. I mean, so what, what's the trick tonight for both candidates as you see it? Uh, she can't gone out and bombarded Reagan as the bad bomber and all the rest of it. Even though he'd been governor of California for eight years, he won't be intimidated by her. It's an interesting format. And you're basically borrowing lots of money. You're basically making investments. You're making decisions every single day. Mm -hmm. she Good to see you. All right, all eyes, everyone, are going to be on a little bit of pressure on Lester Holt. He's going to be moderating tonight's debate after all the negative headlines. But her lies. All right, joining me right now, Howard Kurtz, host to you. Um, is, is it his role there as debate model? They have been thus far incredibly successful in terms of winning the media over to their side. Right. And by the way, the Trump campaign is also playing the spin game. Donald Trump told me really the way it works is you also are only budgeted a certain amount of time. And mm -hmm. if you go back, I mean, I know this having moderated, if you yes. go back, when you go back, you then therefore give up on of television debates. He will get hammered by partisans on both sides because that's the hyperpartisan of television debates. He will get hammered by partisans on both sides because that's the hyperpartisan is a very different kind of forum. A, a high stakes for him with Hillary Clinton and it's Camp not like your show and it's not even like the primary debate so you got right. 10 people on the stage and the moderator acts as a fact checker all right that's gonna be tough for him to overcome <laughs> how is he gonna win over women voters when that's what is flooding the airwaves and women are critical to this election join me right now Libra Initiative national spokesperson great ad it's a fabulous ad yeah um how, how does he how does he win over women when he's gonna be continued to be painted in that way. And by the way, Rachel, using his own words. Uh, listen. Not have sexual relations with that <laughs> one, woman. Um, I really, and I, it's because I wanted to believe him. Right. I wanted to believe him for the sake of him, for the sake of Monica Lewinsky, for the sake of our country, and for the sake of his marriage. Um, and I, I still do not understand how someone can stay with someone all those years uh, knowing how he how he treated a young girl and then yeah. turn around and be part of that machine that goes after her. I mean, to me, that is not a friend to women. Words uh, versus action. And by the way, can I just say, I want to file the White House more than. <laughs> so what I would say to all of this is, is that I think it's an a historic gender gap right now. We were just talking about this, yeah. right? He's up 19 with women. Oh, sorry. She's up 19 with mm -hmm. women. He's up 19 with men. Yeah. Stick to. He needs to stay away from stuff like this because you can say people think I better get to the polls mm -hmm. because I don't want that kind. No, I, I think you're onto something. It, I think you it's know, security women, and economy. It, you know, do we, we want to feel secure and we want to know that our kids have a future? Absolutely. Part of that's that they're not going to go to the mall and get something. That's problem. absolutely it. And 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 the eight hundred dollars last worst. year. Mm -hmm. We also know that two thirds of people on minimum wage are women, and a lot of them are supporting their households on their own now. now so there he's are, he's actually come up with an interesting and innovative plan to combat that, which actually a lot of conservatives might take issue with because it also includes a credit for a stay-at-home mom. Exactly. Rachel, by the way, I don't know if everybody I knows this. She has. <laughs> and just be yes. uh, in Cleveland yeah. at the convention because you were there with your husband. Right. And uh, she's got eight kids. So you, you'd get quite a credit. Yeah, <laughs> I was I, for a lot longer than Donald Trump's. The Why isn't she talking about it? credit plan? Secretary of State joining me right now with a preview of what we may see tonight. John Bolton, have you Glad here? Glad to be here. Um, so Hillary's got all the credentials in the world. Here is when we face a crisis nobody has predicted. Who think there? It's a uh, absolutely mm -hmm. provided. Well, then the he's, next... He's uh, disciplined. The next 88 minutes. I was there, and the crowd was so angry and so upset, and they booed him, and the cameras shot uh, Donald Trump off to the side, walking up onto stage, almost as though to say to the viewers, it's okay, it's okay, and to the audience, it's okay. Anyway, now the Texas senator says he will vote for Donald Trump. But why is he doing it now? And what does Trump need to say tonight to win over some of those never-Trump Republicans like Ted Cruz? Join me right now with their thoughts. National Review. People was one of the most memorable moments of either convention. And then... What needs to happen to bring more never-Trumpers in? I mean, I think that Ted Cruz is... He was sort of in that camp, but a very different... Cut from a very different right. cloth, right? Because he, he did typically appeal to that base. Um, but there are other folks out there. I mean, you think about the Bush family, for example. Uh, how does he start to win them over? 
He's not going to win over the Bush family, and I think <laughs> but he'll follow good advice. And one of the reasons the polls now have really tightened is that he has followed advice for the most part over the last four years. Okay, he had a ton of momentum as he came into that debate. He was talking about jobs, the economy, trade, basically his sweet spot. And he hit Clinton here, uh, really painting her as a failed politician. Watch this. While Hillary Clinton tried to portray him here as a selfish, rich guy, take a peek. Effect might it have on the poll numbers? Joining me is political girl. This is good to see you, sir. Thanks. Thanks for having me. All right. Overall reaction. Look, it's not going to get through, and and you have to tip your hat. They figured out how to do it, which was say what. Well, Carl. I mean, he had an opportunity there to say, you know, okay, no, I wasn't, I wasn't for it. You know, maybe I. Yeah. He, he could have but explained look, some it, of that way, but then you go back to, you know, what's that? Fine. We're going to disagree about it, but I will tell you this. I was against the war a heck of a lot uh, earlier than she was. Missed opportunity for yeah. him, and he, he got led down this uh, meandering path. Right. So the question is, how much are viewers affected by that? I think if you're Donald Not to diminish how important that can be at the end of this, but it's I the just... whole context of information. You know, it was pretty visible. His body language was bad. At the beginning, you'll notice he was using open hand gestures. Do these things, but, yeah. uh, you know, hey, there's room for improvement. Yeah, well, I'm, <laughs> look, I, I, I had a candidate who lost the first debate and... His moment. We just replayed it the other day. Yeah, who exactly. could forget it? And yeah. he handled it so well. Yeah. Carl Rove, good to see you. Thank Great. you so Thanks, much. Trish. Thanks. All right, for more on all that was Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton sparring over who has the better plan to defeat ISIS. Trump even blaming Hillary Clinton and President Obama for the rise of ISIS. In fact, I think he said uh, basically, you know, they, they've been rising sort of your whole political career. Uh, so who is the best candidate right now to keep us safe? For more, I'm joined by Fox News national security analyst KT. Actually did say that. He said, you know, we shouldn't have gone in and we shouldn't have gotten out when we did. Yeah, well. So I think she's got a... Has the support, and you mentioned this last night, of a number of generals. Yes. And military personnel. How significant is that to you as a former uh, Pentagon? You know, uh, I mean, she has her generals. Everybody has their generals. Everybody has their grieving mothers. Everybody has their, you know, their... But I kept saying, look, the bar's low. Because it is a low the, bar. The, in, in some ways, the American public is looking for any reason they can find not to vote for Hillary Clinton because, yeah. well, frankly, a lot of... No. Well, I'll stick to his points. I think last night, or radical Islam has sure. had us on the run. What does Donald Trump need to do? I think he needs a penalty. If you do, we'll start mucking around with yours. All right. KT, some good advice. Hope he's listening. Thank you. After the debate, Donald Trump reached out to Benghazi survivors, as well as to my next guest, Gold Star parents, Karen and Billy Vaughn. Their son, Navy. Thank you. Thank you, Trish. So you were there in the audience. He made sure everybody, yeah, stayed And quiet. so a bit more reserved than it did. some of these others. It did. Yeah. Um, Billy, you know, people have uh, been critical of him today. I think that a lot of his supporters had very high hopes going into this, and they just wanted him to walk away with the whole thing. Uh, you know, I mean, let me say it like this. Quince absolutely, and all that. Absolutely not. Mr. Trump, uh, you know. Um, so what is it that he is, is advocating that really gets you excited right now in terms of the, the future and the direction of this country, Karen? Strength. That's that yeah. is the key. It's like uh, Mrs. Clinton and, and needs retraining. That's what she and the State Department and Ms. Well, it's, it's hard. Well, I appreciate you being here. Just one week from today, vice presidential candidates Mike Pence and Tim Kaine. Mike Pence is no Sarah Palin, though, right? I mean, yeah, Sarah Palin sure. was part of what dictated that tune in. Uh, she was such a big personality in and of herself. Uh, what do you think? I mean, not, not at my age, but but I mean, uh, they are older. Uh -huh. We know how right. actually we're going to take a quick break. I'll be back after this. <laughs>